The Oracle off-road side mirrors have been extremely popular dating all the way back to the Jeep Wrangler JK, now available for the 2021 and up Ford Bronco. Factory headlights and most auxiliary lights only illuminate the front area of the vehicle. Ideally for off-road activities such as trail riding, the driver needs to be able to clearly see out to the sides of the trail to spot obstruction. Unlike bolted on ditch lights, which look like an afterthought, these side mirrors provide that needed peripheral illumination while also looking seamless and integrated. This install only consists of a few steps and takes less than 20 minutes. It's very straightforward, so we're gonna get into that now. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is remove the mirror cap. We're gonna take our panel tool, just gonna work our way in here, release these tabs. Very easy to get this off. Let's work our panel tool around, comes right off. Next, we're gonna use our T25 hand driver to remove this T25 screw. And we're gonna use our panel tool to remove this top accessory panel. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get our fingers on the top part of this glass. We're gonna go ahead and give that a nice firm tug. We're gonna disconnect the wires for the heater. We're gonna set this off to the side. All right, so next we need to remove just these two top Phillips screws using a hand driver for this. All right, so here's the mirror cap assembly. We also have a cable here. We're gonna run this cable through the mirror arm and drop down into the engine compartment and then snap this into place. All right, so we're gonna feed this cable down. I like to use a pick tool here just to kind of guide the plug through. Pull that right up. We're gonna finish pulling this cable through, grab our mirror assembly, get ready to put this into place. So there's a couple of factory clips here that we can use to route our wires just to keep things nice and out of the way. So we'll have this routed through here. We'll pull that nice and snug. And boom, there we go, snaps right in. So in the two locations that we removed those two Phillips screws, we're actually gonna use the two included screws. We're gonna thread them right through here, right directly into the bossings for the mirror. All right. We'll grab our second screw. Now, obviously this mirror wasn't meant to have a screw threaded through the front side like this. So you wanna take your time when you're first putting the screw in here just to make sure that you don't go crooked. You wanna make sure you don't cross thread this. But as soon as you get through, you'll feel where you're grabbing the stud on the mirror cap on the other side. Plug back in our heating element for the glass. I'm gonna go ahead and snap this back into place. So now that we've got this mirror cap installed, we're gonna repeat the same process on the opposite side and then we're gonna get into wire. All right, so before we move over to the other side, we just need to drop this cable down into the engine compartment and put our accessory panel back on. So we're just gonna simply drop this in. This is gonna feed out right here to the fender. We're gonna put our accessory panel back on. We're gonna slide this in, snap it down. We're gonna put our T25 back in. All right, so now that we have our passenger side together, we need to run this cable across to the driver's side so we can reach the auxiliary wires for the switches. Uh, we're gonna use this extension cable. And there's several different ways that you can do this. You can either run this cable along the factory wiring and zip tie it to the loom, or you can run the cable straight through this weather stripping. It actually makes for a really good spot to hide the cable. That's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna just go ahead and push this through. This is gonna go all the way to the other side. So we got the wire through the weather stripping. Uh, I would like to point out if you do have trouble running this cable through the weather stripping, just use some fish tape if you have that. You can push it through, tie the cable to the end and pull it right through the weather stripping. So these are the wires for the factory auxiliary switches. We're gonna be using one of these today. Uh, if you don't have this or if you have an aftermarket upfitter or you're just running these in the car to a toggle, you can do that as well. We're gonna take our red butt connector. We're gonna insert that in. We're gonna crimp that. Now we're gonna grab one of our aux wires. We're gonna clip off the heat shrink. We're gonna strip some wire there. Go ahead and crimp that down. So we've got a positive connection there. Now, as you can see, we don't have a lot of negative wire here. All we need to do is split this casing a little bit just to go ahead and give more distance between these wires. Uh, we're gonna go to the negative battery post. You can use your ring terminal to go to one of the factory grounds on the fender if you'd like. So we're gonna go ahead and just pull this, cut that excess off. We'll do that with both. So we've got our black wires twisted together now. We're gonna take our red ring terminal, pop that in. Print that down. 
So now we're gonna take our Bronco toolkit. We're gonna grab our tin and our socket wrench. We're gonna undo the nut on the negative battery cable. You can see we already have a couple things here. And we're gonna go ahead and put that back on. Now we can use our factory switch to turn our mirrors on and off. Check out these side mirrors and other awesome products for your Bronco at oraclelights.com or give us a call at 800-407-5776.